Whew. I found a quiet place to hang out for a little while. Free from all the noise. There's uh, no motorcycles zooming around, no loud cars racing, no no garbage trucks backing up, going beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Got no television. I'm gonna unplug from Facebook for a while. You know? Do you ever do you ever get tired of all the noise that's just it's just constant? Especially on especially on Facebook. You know, everybody's sharing their their opinions with or without information, posting one sound bite after another. You know, wear a mask, don't wear a mask. You know, it's a conspiracy, it's not a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy about a conspiracy. It's true, it's not true. I like Trump, I don't like Trump. On and on and on it goes. And the more I the more I read the, the louder it gets, the more noise it just kind of drains you from from life if you're not careful. All this anxiety is just swirling around us and it really does have the the ability to to drain us from life and it, it's just good. It's good sometime to find a quiet place and just unplug, you know, uh, get away from the noise and take a moment and breathe and just ask yourself, ask yourself, how is it with my soul? That's a question John Wesley used to ask um, when folks would gather in their small groups. He would always ask, how, how is it with your soul? The question's, uh, it's a lot deeper than how are you today or it really is it's it's asking how is it with your spirit how is it with your mind how is it with your emotions how are your relationships going how is it with your soul hmm. maybe uh, maybe it would be a good exercise for us today or or some sometime this week to to find a quiet place and do that. Just unplug, uh, set the Facebook aside for a moment, maybe take your Bible, take a, a journal and a pen and, and just ask yourself, how is it? How is it with my soul? God has given us some incredible gifts. One of those gifts is life. Uh, the gift of God's presence, the gift of prayer. And there's another gift I'd like to talk with you about a little bit it's the gift of imagination God has given us the imagination and our imagination can really assist us in our um, in our times of prayer you know when when you sit in a quiet place and you want to talk with Jesus for a while let your imagination see Jesus coming up to you in, in your imagination, have Jesus come and, and just sit right by your side and see his eyes looking at you. And then imagine a conversation. Maybe you could say something to him and imagine what he would say in response. Just tell him what's on your heart, what's on your mind, what's troubling you. And then imagine what he might say in response. Or you could let Jesus initiate the conversation. You don't have to imagine or pretend what he would say. You could pick something right out of scripture that Jesus has said, one of the stories he told, or one of the things that he said to his disciples. Just imagine him saying something like, uh, come to me. Or maybe you just imagine him talking directly to you. And just saying, come to me. If you're tired and weary, heavy laden, come to me. I'll give you rest. I will give you rest. We can be yoked together. And I want you to know this, my burden is easy. It's light. And then you could imagine yourself saying something in response to that. Jesus, I am tired. I'm weary. 
this is going on way too long and I'm really confused and I'm trying really hard, but I'm getting tired. And imagine what Jesus might say to that response. Or you might hear Jesus, or imagine Jesus placing his hand on, on your shoulder and just saying, you know, if you're thirsty, you can come to me and, and get a drink. Come on. Come to me and get a drink because whoever whoever believes in me whoever comes to me out of them rivers of living living water will flow out of their soul and then you can say to jesus you know lord all of this noise is really taking the life out of me it's leaving me dry i'm not sure what to believe anymore i'm not i would just like to hear your truth. I'd like to be refreshed by your truth. Hmm. Or you could imagine Jesus looking at you and putting his arm around you and saying, you know, I want to give you my peace. I want to give my peace to you. You know, I don't give as the world gives. You don't have to be, a, be troubled or be afraid as my peace is with you. And then you can just talk to him about your anxiety, your fears, whatever's troubling you. And say, yes, Lord, I would, I would love, <laughs> I would love to have your peace in my life right now. And then after you imagine this conversation, take a moment and just rest. Be quiet, be silent. Let the words and the conversation you just had just kind of wash over your soul. And then after you've sat there for a while, imagine that Jesus kind of nudges you on the shoulder and says, come on, let's go back. We've got a life to live. It's true, you know. You've got a life to live. You've got a life to live, and Jesus does not want the social isolation. He doesn't want the noise, the pandemic, or the economic collapse to diminish your life one iota. He wants you to have a full and abundant life filled with his peace. You know, God is walking with you and with me. He's walking with all of us through the midst of this. He's in it with us. And he's constantly looking at us with his eyes. And he's waiting for a moment to ask you the question. How is it with your soul? <laughs>